Hey there, welcome to this Yoga for Bowling video. My name is Colly. thank you so much for joining. Hope you're doing really well today. We're gonna to be doing a short and sweet class. It's gonna focus on loosening out the shoulders, finding some space in the chest and the upper body. Uh, whatever bowling that you do, maybe it's 10 pin bowling, maybe it's lawn bowls, maybe it's curling, whatever it is, you're gonna do that same kind of crouching down action, which may cause a little bit of lower back pain. We'll think about easing that. We're gonna strengthen the, gl the glutes a little bit and we'll also stretch out the muscles in the legs. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be sweet. Hopefully it's something you can do on the regular, once a week, once every couple of weeks, just to keep your body in the best possible place so you can come back to your bowling feeling good, feeling fresh. Um, so yeah, all you need is your mat. We're gonna start in a seated position. Get comfortable. Find somewhere where you are comfortable, so maybe cross-legged or legs out in front of you. Whatever feels good. You can relax the hands on the knees or in the lap. And just before we get moving, let's take a moment just to settle into the class. Take some time to take a step back from whatever you were doing previously. Maybe a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice and satisfying. Good way of just kind of stepping back from whatever you're doing and uh, sharpening up your focus. You can close the eyes. If you want to, don't feel like you have to. Take a moment here just to notice how the body feels. Relax your shoulders. Maybe a little body scan. Just noticing any kind of tense places. You can soften up the jaw. And take your attention to the breath as well. I want to make a bit of a connection with it. Just so starting to follow the inhale and the exhale as the breath comes in and out. Recommend breathing in and out of the nose. And just take the next 30 seconds to slow the breath down. It may be a little bit shallow, it may be a little bit quick. For now, let's just focus on really breathing into the lower belly. And then making sure that we exhale fully as well, taking your time. If you want a guide, maybe five or six seconds on the inhale. And five or six seconds on the exhale. Take as long as you need here. Hopefully you feel a little bit calmer, a little bit kind of more grounded, just from a moment uh, of sitting still and watching the breath. And when you're ready, we'll take it to our all fours. So take your time. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. And we're gonna straight away think about giving the spine a little bit of TLC. So you can bring the shoulders above the wrists and we'll enjoy a few cat-cow poses. Take a breath in to soften your belly down, open your chest and look forwards, and then with the exhale, draw your chin back in towards your chest. So coming into your cat pose here, inhaling, belly goes down, open chest, look forwards, cow pose, and then with the exhale, chin back in, push with the hands, you can round your back. A few more times, maybe exaggerating it, getting a little bit deeper into it each time. You can feel the muscles on the back stretch out in your cat, and then the muscles in the front stretch out in your cow. Take as long or as many as you want. Before taking a seat, and we'll drop the bum onto the heels. We're going to straight away target the shoulders, interlocking the fingers behind us. And we'll slowly lower the chest onto the thighs. And you can rock the uh, forehead onto the ground. We're coming into a rabbit pose here, whereby you could stay here or sweep the arms up over the head. So a little bit of kind of tension. You can feel the muscles around the shoulders here. Try and hold it just for a couple of breaths. Before relaxing, coming out of it. And we'll return to our all fours where we're gonna just focus a little bit on the wrists and the hands and the forearms. Very important for, for bowling. You wanna keep them in a good, good shape. Point your fingers out towards the sides of the mat. And um, we will rock from side to side, just shifting the weight of the body from one hand to the other. Try and keep the entirety of both hands stuck on the ground as you do. And then maybe point the fingers in and do the same thing. And then you can take it further if you want to, point fingers back in towards the body. Slightly deeper stretch here. You can start to feel the forearms wake up a little bit. Rock forwards and backwards. And then deeper still, tops of hands down. So the palms face up towards the face. 
bit of a nasty one that one. Take your time with it. And then go ahead and shake out the hand. So you could just take a seat, shake it out, get the blood flow going to your fingertips. Interlocking fingers, tracing figure of eight, always a good one. Loosen out the wrists there. Could be some good things just to do straight off the bat before you bowl. Just get your hands prepared. When you're ready, let's take the hands down onto the ground and we're going to lift up into our downward facing dog. So you can place the toes on the mat, lift the knees off the ground and then suck in your tummy as you lift your hips high. And go ahead and pedal your feet out quite a lot. So you want to bend one knee and straighten the other leg and then change sides. So we're just kind of bringing some heat into the muscles on the backs of the legs. Think of really kind of wagging the tail of your dog, sweeping from side to side. And then from there we'll just take some steps towards our hands, come to the front of the mat, standing forward fold. And I want you to bend your knees quite a lot. We're going to target the shoulders again, interlocking fingers here behind the back. And you can let the arms sweep up and over the head again. Maybe you can drop the head as much as you can, take a shake or a swing from side to side. And then relax the hands down and very slowly uncurl, come to a standing pose. As you stand tall, open out your chest fully and we're going to lift the arms above the head before bringing your hands to heart centre. So just enjoy that kind of lift up of the arms stretching out and then bringing your hands back to a central position. We'll take the fingers onto the lower back, fingers on the bum, we're going to take a little standing back bend. So you can take a spring in the knees, maybe push the hips forwards as you open out your chest. And here's where we're going to get some great space in the chest here. You can feel the pecs kind of broadly expand. Look forwards or look high, look behind you. And feel free to like come in and out of it if you need to, but it's a really great pose just to counteract any slouching that you do. Whether it's bowling, whether it's just in your day to day, over your computer, phone, book, food. This is a great one to counteract. And then we'll come out of it slowly, stand tall, and just go ahead and forward fold, drop the hands, and step back to your plank. Shoulders above wrists, push with the hands, you want your back to be domed up to the ceiling. Look slightly forwards, drop the knees, relax the tops of your feet, lower your chest and your chin very slowly down to the ground, so with control and then find a cobra. So we'll press the hands and the feet on the ground as we lift our chest. And here, a little bit of a lower back targeting. Just take a moment just to notice how this feels. Feel free to come back down and then back into it. Just to ease in a few times. You could look left, look right. Give the shoulders a roll. Do whatever feels good for you. And then push back to a child's pose which is a, another great pose to find some space in the back. So you can drop the bum on the heels, take your arms forwards, maybe drop the forehead. This might be quite challenging for you, so you could tuck the toes so you're sitting on your heels and your toes. And then another option is to sweep your arms down by your sides. A little target of the spine here, you can relax the, the head there as well. Wherever you are, close your eyes, take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth before lifting yourself up to your all fours. And we'll come back up to our downward facing dog. Bring a bit of movement into it. Let's lift the right leg towards the ceiling. Take the gaze forwards and step in between your hands. If the foot doesn't make it, just shuffle it forwards. It's all good. Drop the back knee and then lift up your arms. And we'll target the hip flexors here. So as you lift your arms, you can scoop your chest up towards the ceiling. You can go really kind of deep into the hips here. Notice that space between left knee and left shoulder, really stretching out the hip flexors. So lifting your arms up nice and high will exaggerate that. Maybe look up towards the hands, and then take the hands down, and we'll step forwards. We're going to take a step with the left foot all the way to the right foot, and find a chair pose where we're going to strengthen up the glutes. So you want to really sit back down on the, um, the heels as you bend your knees, lift your arms up into your chair. So you imagine you're kind of on an imaginary chair. Look up high and then fold. Step or jump back to your plank and look slightly forwards as you drop your knees, your chest and your chin. Inhale to a cobra. So that same pose here, we've got the bend in the back and then push back. Child's pose. 
downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing, left leg high. Step forwards, take your time, drop the back knee, and then find your low lunge. So arms coming up, relax your shoulders as you do. You might want to turn the little fingers in towards each other. You may even need to shuffle the left foot forwards, look up high, and then sweep the hands down. Step forwards, right foot joins the left foot. Chair pose, bend the knees, glutes are engaged, hamstrings are engaged. You can sit a little bit deeper this time and lift the arms a little bit higher. Look up towards the hands, and then fold. Step or jump back, plank. Same thing here, drop the knees, relax the tops of the feet, lower the chest and the chin, and then find your cobra. So we're pressing with the hands and the feet, you can squeeze the glutes as you come into this back bend, and then push back, child's pose. Staying here as long as you want, before returning um, to your all fours, where we will continue to target the shoulders. Where we're gonna sweep the left arm up towards the ceiling, take it high, and then slide it underneath the right arm. So our left shoulder goes onto the mat. Now once the left shoulder's on the mat, relax the left side of your face on the ground. You can take the right arm forwards. We'll just take two or three breaths into that opening in your left shoulder. Before coming out slowly, and we'll roll straight into the same thing on the other side. So right hand high, take it nice and long, and then slide the arm under. Shoulder goes down, right side of the face goes down, and then you can take the left arm long. And try to hold it here for a little bit, three or four slow breaths. Before coming out of it with control. No rushing. And we'll take it to a seated position from here. You can lift the knees off the ground, come into your downward dog, come onto your tiptoes and then step or jump to a seat. Cross your legs as you go down and then straighten them out in front of you. You can give them a little shake out if you want. We'll target the right leg first. We're gonna bend the left knee and place the left foot into the right thigh. Have a little shuffle around so you can face your right leg. So shoulders want to be kind of square to the right leg. Breathe in, lift up your arms, look up high. And go ahead and bend your right knee quite a lot here. Forward fold, so chest smothers the right thigh. And you can grab the right shin with the hands or the right foot, look over your toes rather than at your knee. And breathe. Notice the sensations. And then come up. We'll just roll into it on the other side. So left leg straight, right foot comes in. Shuffle around, face the left leg. So you really want your shoulders and your hips to be kind of be square to the left leg. Lift up the arms, bend your left knee, and then fold. Look over left toes. Try and relax the shoulders. Soften face, and breathe slowly. We'll come out of it. We'll just do exactly the same thing, but on both legs. So straight legs, bend your knees a little bit, lift up the arms, and then fold. Grab shins, grab feet, look over toes. Try and draw the shoulders back down the back. And you can shuffle this, the heels forwards a little bit, and shuffle the sitting bones back. Breathe. Before reaching along with your arms uh, above the feet, and we'll hover on down onto our back. Continue to get into the legs. We're going to stretch out the glutes here by bringing the right knee to the chest. Grab hold of the knee with the left hand. Sweep your right arm out to the right. And we'll gently draw the left knee, the right knee, sorry, with the left hand over to the left. So coming into a supine twist, an excellent position for your spinal health. As you twist the body, you kind of lengthen it. So you really want the neck to be long and you can kick the straight leg away from you. Look towards the right hand. And relax the uh, face, close the eyes. And just enjoy three or four breaths here. Noticing where you feel it the most. Perhaps it's in the glutes. Perhaps it's in the belly and the twist. Try and keep your focus. And then we'll come out of it slowly. Straighten out your right leg. Do the same thing on the other side. So left knee comes up. 
grab hold of the knee with the right hand, sweep your left out to the left. Now if you find that your left shoulder is rolling over with your knee, bring the knee back up to middle and make sure the shoulder sticks down before taking the knee just as far as it will go. And You can look over to your left hand from there. Really good one to find some length in the glutes which I imagine will need a good stretch after bowling and this kind of twisting will be perfect for the spine which will help with any lower back pain that you might be getting from bending down all the time look to your left hand breathe and then come back to the centre and we'll bring both knees to the chest you can grab your knees with the hands maybe some little circles with the knees, loosen out the hips and then one final squeeze, wrapping arms around legs grab your elbows, grab your knees, whatever you can rock from side to side, massage your back and before sprawling your legs out down onto the mat let's take the arms wide and we're going to find our Shavasana pose you can take any kind of shuffling and fidgeting, get that out of the way before finding a place where you're able to keep your body still. And relax the back of the head, let it feel nice and heavy. Allow the face to be soft. Just feel the legs and the arms drifting a little bit deeper into the mat. With your eyes closed, we'll enjoy a very short while here finding a bit of stillness just letting the body go and always just noticing if the mind has wandered off if it's already running away with you bring the attention back towards the body towards the breathing and start to deepen the breath both inhale and exhale slightly longer you can bring gentle movements into the fingers and the toes take your arms long above the head for a full body stretch and just notice here how you feel Hopefully a bit of space inside your body. Maybe a bit of strength, a bit of balance. You can roll to one side of your mat and then lift yourself back up to your seated position where we began. And I recommend just finding a place here for a moment. Try and relax uh, the hands down and close your eyes. And before you rush off, just take some time here just to notice how you're doing. Notice any changes physically, mentally and thank you yourself for your practice thank you for making the time to join me thanks for letting me guide you awesome stuff namaste take it easy hope you enjoyed hope it is of some benefit to you uh, please do pass the video on to anyone else that you might feel that could get something out of it as i say could be a good thing to do once a week once every couple of weeks just keep your body in good shape to get back on with the bowling um, have a look on the website, please feel free to browse through any other uh, videos up there, lots of good stuff. Um, take it very easy, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, hope you have a good one, and hope to see you soon. Bye for now.